Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tamika. In today's video, I am going to be doing my makeup only using products from Priceline that are $20 and under. Now, if you're not from Australia, you're probably thinking $20, what? But let me tell you, that is a bargain price here in Australia for drugstore makeup. So I have a bunch of products in front of me. A lot of them I have used multiple times and love them. I do have a few new products as well. So if you're excited for today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. For primer, I'm going in with the Astralis See You Later Pores Primer. This is a silicon-based pore filling primer, quite similar to the Benefit Pore Professional. This primer is great if you have really large pores because it's going to fill them in and leave a really smooth finish. So personally, I like to put it around my nose and what's this part of your face called? I don't know, but I like to put it there. And also just on my forehead a little in between my brows because that is where I have the biggest pores. For foundation, I'm going in with the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, and this is in the shade F0.7. Now, Revolution is a newer brand to Priceline, and everything is actually really affordable in this range. I know that not all Priceline stores carry Revolution though. So this foundation actually comes in two versions. You've got the Conceal and Hydrate, which I'm using today, and hold please, the Conceal and Define. So the Conceal and Define is more of a matte finish, whereas the Conceal and Hydrate is more of a hydrating finish. So I've just got two pumps of foundation on my little palette here, and I like to grab a concealer brush and just Spread it out all over my face. I know it looks like I'm putting a ton of product on, but I just prefer to spread it out first so that the beauty blender doesn't soak it all up. So this is what the foundation looks like. I might actually bring it in a little closer so you can get a better look, hey? As you can see, it gives a really nice full coverage and it still has that hydrating glow to it. You can see my skin here looks quite fresh and glowy, which I'm all about. It's a really lightweight feeling foundation as well. I'm pretty sure I did a full review on it, so I'll link it down below if I did. For concealer, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade L200 Light Ivory. Now this one is on the newer side to my collection and I do really like it. I also did a full review on this. Now this shade is actually really light and quite brightening. It is the second shade I have picked up. I was hoping it would be a little darker. So if you don't want that real brightening effect, go for a deeper shade, like if you're around my skin color. To keep that nice hydrated look under the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder, which if you've been around my channel for a long time now, you would know how obsessed I am with this. So this doesn't give a fully matte finish. It has a bit of a sheen to it. So I really like to use it under the eyes, especially when I am using a glowy concealer, just to keep that hydrated look. To powder the rest of my face, I have a new one here. This is by Revolution and it is the Bake and Blot Powder and I have it in the shade Translucent. So this looks like a really good fair shade. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush this is my Sigma Powder Blush Brush and just lightly tap in there to set my cheeks. Also a little bit on my forehead here where I get a little creasy. All right, that has set my foundation nicely and it doesn't feel too heavy. Next, I'm going in with bronzer and this is the Models Prefer Natural Glow Bronzer in the shade Sunlit. I picked this bronzer up just on a whim because how bloody cute is the little wave in the bronzer there. And it also looked like a good shade for fair skin and I really like it. It's quite cool toned, but it still gives enough warmth if you're as fair as me. It blends really easily too. Now it does have a bit of a gold shimmer in it when you look in the pan, but that doesn't translate to a shimmer on your face. It translates to just a beautiful glowy sheen. Like look at that, 
Dawn Ann. For blush and highlight, I have this Savvy Cheek Duo in the shade Rose and Shine. Now this is a cream product and I know sometimes creams can be a little bit overwhelming, but this here is so easy to work with. It blends beautifully onto the skin and what I love about it is that it can be used over powder. Some cream products are a little bit touchy when it comes to that. So I'm going in with my Sigma F53 Air Contour Blush Brush. This is quite a pigmented color, so I just go in really lightly and then just tap up and down on the cheeks and it pretty much blends itself out. And then for the highlighter, I just like to go in with my finger and tap that onto the cheekbones. Look at that beautiful, natural, glowy skin. <laughs> Come on, seriously. Next, I wanna go in with a spray and this is the Maybelline Glass Spray. Now, here are my thoughts on this one. <laughs> It leaves a really beautiful, hydrated, dewy look, but the mister is absolutely savage. I actually need to transfer it into another bottle, but I don't have anything right now, so I've just kind of got to take it as it is. I'm going to go from a distance because you'll see. Ah! <laughs> like, it shoots. It just got in my mouth. It shoots at you. Ah, shit. Like, and I can't aim it. Like, I'm just getting it in my hair. Okay, that side's a bit better. It definitely helps give more of a glowy look. Like, you can see that sheen on my cheek. It's just a bit hard to work with sometimes. Moving on to brows, I'm going in with the Rimmel Brow Pro Micro Pencil and I have the shade Blonde and I'll also be using the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel also in the shade Blonde. I'm going to go in with the gel first just to brush my brows into place and also so that it tints any of the stray blonde hairs. What I like about this gel is, first of all, it has a nice tiny little wand so you can be super precise and it also just sticks to every brow hair, making them look a lot more fluffier. And then with the brow pencil, I am all about these micro brow pencils at the moment. It has this tiny little tip which just is so easy to work with and the formula of this is nice and creamy, it glides on well but it stays in place. And then I'm just going to go back in with a little more brow gel. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be dipping into this Revolution Reloaded Palette in Iconic Fever. The Revolution eyeshadow palettes are actually pretty damn good. I've got a bit of a thing when it comes to drugstore eyeshadow palettes. A lot of them are just chalky and dry. They don't blend well. My favorites are the Astralis, but they are over $20. So these are probably my next go-to. I am going to go in with just a bit of a neutral shade in the crease because I want to use this new Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Socialite. It's not a new product, but it's new to me. I've actually been going in with this color tattoo in the shade On and Bronze for my everyday eyeshadow lately, and it is so creamy, it blends beautifully, and it's a really nice shade. So I thought I'd pick up another one to try. I am going to prime my lids just with a bit of concealer first. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with a mix of these two neutral shades throughout my crease and then I'm going to put the cream shadow on the lid. So this is what the matte shades look like blended out, just really light and subtle, you know. And then I'm taking my Sigma 
E55 brush. This is just a dense, flat shader brush. Perfect for creams. Mm. So pretty. These Maybelline cream shadows, I think, are perfect if you just want a little bit of color on your lid from day to day. You can just go in with a brush or your finger and swipe the entire shade over your eye. That's what I do with the On and Bronze shade. You don't necessarily have to go in with some crease colors. For mascara, I had to try one by Essence. I did ask you guys a while ago which one you recommend, and it was the Green Lash Princess, but unfortunately it was out of stock in my local price line and due to COVID, who knows when it is coming back. So I ended up picking up the I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. So I'm hoping this one is still good. It has a giant, giant fluffy wand. So let's see how that goes. I'm just going to take off most of the product because I hate going in when a mascara is too wet and clumpy. So I'll layer it up and see. Okay, this wand is really, really big. It's kind of scaring me a little. It's definitely lengthened them. I feel like they're looking quite thick and luscious. Mmm. Not bad. Okay, well I am liking what this is doing for my lashes. I think the wand will take a little bit of getting used to, but they look good. For lipstick, I have one by Essence from the This Is Me collection. This is in the shade 01 Freaky. I wanna stick to kind of like these pinky tones. I really like the formula of these lipsticks. They are really creamy, have a satin finish, and are really opaque. All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. Something very simple, natural, and glowy. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product from Priceline is that is under the $20 mark. I originally wanted to do under $10, but it was quite hard to find a variety of products under that. They were mostly from Essence or Savvy. So if that's a video you'd still be interested in watching, let me know. I have a ton of other Priceline specific related content, so I will link some down below if you want to continue to watch. Otherwise, I hope you are all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.